showers on their way in and once we see this rain move in, it's going to be steady and even heavy at times through the afternoon right into this evening. As we approach sunset tonight, that's when that colder air pushes in and we'll see a transition over to a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain and then over to all snow into first thing Friday morning. We're back to the teens. Now we've got the potential for some icy spots tomorrow morning. We already have some standing water from the melting that has been taking place. Add rain on top of that and any standing water or leftover moisture left untreated tomorrow will be icy and we'll also have some snow covered roads and spots. So a big temperature difference to start the day on Friday. Snow chances don't last long by Friday afternoon. We'll see some sunshine. We've got another quick hitting system. I'll jump ahead and show you early Saturday. That'll bring us some snow heading into the start of the day on Saturday. Here's a look at future rainfall as far as how much rain to expect. I think most spots at least an inch to an inch and a half, if not two inches by the time we make it through the morning on Friday. Not a lot of snow out of this, an inch or less, but enough that conditions could be slick to start the day on Friday. Today, rain heavy at times. Winds are gusty with gusts 30 plus miles per hour. Tonight, that rain mixes over to a mix, eventually to snow. Still gusty tonight, but those winds will be winding down into the day tomorrow. Snow chances mainly early. That quick moving system brings snow early on Saturday. Sunshine on Sunday, we're warming up by early next week. We're back to the low 50s on Monday, partly sunny skies. By Tuesday, there's more rain in the forecast. Scattered showers were in the 50s. By Wednesday, we'll have the chance for rain and snow with highs close to that 50 degree mark.